And joining me now to react to this and more, the always shy, demure, Ann Coulter. How are you? Fine, thank you. So good to see you. I've been dying to talk to you. 42% approval rating, 74% of Americans think uh, that the American people are too dependent on government. What does that say? Um, well, to be honest with you, the American people are a little schizophrenic on this. They always say government is too big, and then you start talking about what you're going to cut. <laughs> yeah. No, no, don't cut that. The one exception to that is Obamacare. Um, and that's why stopping amnesty is so important. That remains the most important issue. If amnesty goes through, Obamacare will never, ever, ever be overturned. Hispanics overwhelmingly support not only big government, but specifically Obamacare. So I think, for one thing, please do not take your eye off the ball, Republicans, whether it's the government shutdown or defunding Obamacare. Biggest issue facing us is blocking Obamacare. It is already passed in the Senate, and they are trying to slip it through, especially by not talking about it. Politicians know that as soon as we talk about it, people will start writing and calling and telling us we don't want Obamacare. But as long as we don't say anything, we can just slip it through in the dark of night, and all the big Obama contributors, or, or rather Republican contributors, um, you know, and the Mark Zuckerbergs and Sheldon Adelsons and Koch brothers of the world, they'll, they'll give us money and screw the people who hate amnesty. As for this, this looming government shutdown, I've been listening to you talk about it on radio along with your other 14 million listeners. Um, and and I, I've been dying to talk to you about this because, first of all, I really don't think Republicans should be on either side saying that the other side is 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 a monster doing something horribly wrong. We all want to defund Obamacare. One side, and I understand their point, says this is going to hurt us. We're not going to defund it. We have one half of one third of government. Um, and the last time we tried this under Newt Gingrich in the 90s, it did hurt Republicans a lot. I, I think three things are different this time. One is, um, this time we have Ted Cruz and Mike Lee leading the fight. Last time it was Newt Gingrich. That ended up not being helpful as it turned out. I don't know if you remember the, in the details end, it actually, of that. In the end, it didn't really hurt that much, but go ahead. I don't want to it, interrupt you. It, it hurt a lot. Point two, every other time the, gov the Republicans have either, sh and this is the most important, have either threatened to shut down the government or shut down the government, it's been over the budget generally, the budget deficit. I promise you, no one cares about the deficit. We, Republicans ran on the deficit for 30 years and lost every election. No one cares about the deficit. Obamacare is different. It is hitting now. Look, the Teamsters may campaign with Amazing. Ted Cruz Amazing, um, right? because they want to stop this. It's immediately after this IRS scandal. Um, and, and, and just to say we want to put off implementation of this, if it comes to it, look, just say we're going to continue to fund the government for a temporary period. But this is our budget. We right, are me, not voting me, to fund in. Obamacare. Because uh, blessed is the peacemaker, Ann Coulter. You're trying to bring the two I sides hate these, together. Not the two sides. I hate well, when Republicans fight one another. It is not well, rhinos on one side. It is not right, reckless here's my question. lunatics on the other side. But here's a reality. The Tea Party conservatives in this country, which is a big part of the, the Republican coalition, they want a fight. They want these guys the to stand for The fight should be something. on amnesty. Then they're missing the boat because they're about to give away the entire country if the Tea Party doesn't focus but those on are amnesty. Two things. I, I would tell you that it's about, yes, about amnesty, A, and about B, about Obamacare, because this is basically their last chance. I, I, I no longer believe that. Well, why not? Because people hate Obamacare. How do you name and one big government got, program that has no, been I put in place and then removed? This, look, this is why I worked so hard to get Mitt Romney elected president, because my feeling was that if it was not repealed in the next four years, it would not be. I think it's a different country now, and people do not like what's happening. The memory of what it was like getting health care um, for not through the Department of Motor Vehicles is still fresh in people's minds. We do have these new Republicans in there. Um, and... Uh, I mean, just the, the outrageousness of finding out this week that Congress, senators, House members, and their staff will not be subject to Obamacare? You gotta, you gotta love, they, they've got some cojones there. They've got some real... Yes! Yeah, they really do. Yeah, so I, 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 look, both sides wanted to fund Obamacare and are trying to figure out the best way to do it. I, I happen to think they should stage this fight. And I, All right, so how do you want this fight? It, this, this is key. How do you stage this fight? I like what Cruz is saying, Mike Lee's oh, saying. Oh, I had a third point. 
Go ahead. Very, very All important right. to get Democrats on the record in another vote right now, going into 2014 for Obamacare. This bill, as you and I have discussed, was passed in a sleazy way um, with 100 percent Democrat votes without a single Republican vote. Let's get um, Senator Pryor from Arkansas and Mary Landrieu from Louisiana. Get them on the record voting to turn over to the IRS in the middle of this scandal all of our health care. Get the Democrats on the record with that vote. That couldn't be enough. Let me ask you this. How about then they vote to delay the funding of Obama? Sure, just keep you're, putting you're okay those with up that. for a vote. Just keep putting okay, it up for a vote. Then Obama says that he's going to shut down the government, that Republicans are shutting down the government, even though they fund every other aspect well, of government. Well, probably it won't pass in the Senate, but i got to tell you, that's not 100 percent. we got a lot of Democrats up for election next year. Get them on the record. You don't, you don't. So call it a delay, not a defund. Funding, but ostensibly, I think the same you, thing. you try it all, but demand votes on it. Keep voting. All right. So what happens when we get to the point the House defunds it, they send it to the Senate, the Senate won't go along with it, or they do? Whatever. Yeah, but have the vote. Have, have the, the vote. vote. Okay. And then what do you do from there? Because then the president's going to say, "I'm not going along with the Senate Democrats." Then what do they do? Let's see what the what the landscape is. Where are the Teamsters going to be? It's a great question, isn't it? You ever think you'd be in agreement with Jimmy Hoffa Jr.? Well, I think a lot of Americans, I mean, other than the ones like members of Congress who don't have waivers from Obamacare, don't yeah. like Obamacare. It is very different to, quote, shut down. Oh, sorry, there was a third thing I said at the beginning. Three mm -hmm. things are very different. In 1994, we didn't have as much of the media. I, that was before the Internet was big. It was before Fox, Fox News. Um, actually, it was 1995 when this happened. Right. It's a different media landscape. There are different people pushing this, and it is over a different issue, an issue, Obamacare, that is hated by the vast majority of the American people, and they see what, the sleazy methods that were used to pass this, and it just dropped in our lap. The politicization of the IRS and who's running Obamacare, the IRS. But remember, Americans, the most you important know, thing is stopping amnesty. Reagan asked a rhetorical question in 1974. Is it a third party we need or a revitalized oh, second party? something else I want to punch right. you for. Oh, why? Why are you mad at me? Do not even talk but here's about my question. third parties. No, okay. But I'm not talking about this third parties. This is people with... I'm talking about a revitalized yeah. second party. Now, Ryan's no. previous. Wait a minute. He told ABC and CNN, he got right in their face, went on their air, and said, you do these love stories to Hillary, you're not going to get any debates. Everybody I know was like, go Reince. They want a fight. Um, the they fight liked it. should be over amnesty. We I you, I lose you, everything. But a Hispanics fight, you've got overwhelmingly to fight. support Obamacare. They support gay marriage. They support um, abortion. They support big government. Look at the polls. We lose everything, and we lose the country. What we have no say over who an American citizen is. Right. Democrats can't win with Americans. That's why they need to bring in a new electorate, and it is being slipped through because. And yes, we should revitalize the Republican Party. I'll tell you Great. who to throw out. Any Republicans who support amnesty. You have a clear list. Oh, oh, uh, is that love affair with Chris Christie over then? Sadly, over over amnesty. And by the way, that's when the love affair ended with George Bush, too. Not only for me, but I think for a lot of conservatives. All right. Coulter, thanks for giving me time to ask one question. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Thank you very much. Good to see you.